It's another beautiful day and we're here to check out the Kia Soluto in its top spec EX variant. Marami na tayong nakikita ganito sa daan ngayon and it was given to us for a week so much check na natin kung ano yung totoong performance niya. Let's talk about its styling. So even though this Kia is very affordable, maganda pa rin yung design niya. Mahikita nyo na it has Kia's signature tiger nose front grille, multi-reflector halogen headlights, projector fog lights, and a black trim on its bumper. So here on the side, the Kia Soluto looks very simple with its color white body and the single body line over here. Meron siyang LED turn indicators on the side mirrors, it has 14-inch alloy wheels in 175-70 R14 tires, and it has chrome door handles, and solid ang pagkakasara niya. Isa pa. Here at the back, simple is the word we can use to describe this Kia Soluto. Familiar ba? If familiar siya sa'yo, it is because they share the same platform with the Hyundai Reina. It has parking sensors, reverse camera, and rear fog lights. And since nandito na tayo sa likod, let's check out the trunk. So here's the trunk of the Kia Soluto. It has a pretty decent amount of space. As you can see, nandito yung camera equipment namin, two luggage, and my backpack. Sarap talaga mag-travel. Wait! Bawal pa pala mag-travel ngayon, no? Ay, nakaka-miss talaga mag-travel. So, this Kia Soluto is powered by a 1.4-liter gasoline engine with 94 horsepower and 132 newton meters of torque. It is paired to a 4-speed automatic transmission or a 5-speed manual transmission. Safety features on the Soluto include dual front airbags, anti-lock braking system, reverse camera with static guidelines and rear parking sensors, and isofix chassis anchor points. So let's start the Kia Soluto. So here inside the Soluto, makikita natin na it looks very simple pero maganda siya. Kahit na ang target market niya is for people who's on a budget. So, makikita natin na meron siyang 7-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Buti pa nga to, merong Apple CarPlay and Android Auto eh. Yung na-review nga namin na Land Cruiser, walang Apple CarPlay at Android Auto eh. Sad, no? So, yung 7-inch touchscreen display niya is very responsive. So, ayan. And then, andito nakalagay yung mga controls for the windows. Very unusual na nandito siya because Di ba lahat tayo sanay na nandito sa left side? But I guess, you must get used to it kapag gusto mo itong sasakyan na to. And then here below, meron nalagyan ng phone ko and wallet ko. It has also auxiliary and USB and 12 volt power outlets. So here we have the shifter for the 4-speed automatic transmission. We have two cup holders and more storage space. Tapos, meron din tayo ditong armrest, which is a plus for this car. Oh, and bago ko makalimutan, it has leatherette seats, leather up steering wheel with audio controls over here. And personally, I like its design. Maganda yung steering wheel niya. So here at the back, as you can see, there's nothing much to expect. Meron siyang power windows, the speakers, and storage space na sadly hindi kasi tong water jug ko kahit saan pa akong sasakyan pumunta and mind you ah na try namin yung speakers niya and it sounds so good kahit na ordinary speakers lang siya and meron pa siyang isofix child seat so pwedeng ilagay yung mga seats ng mga bata so for the space here at the back makikita nyo na I've got lots of leg room and head room and I'm 5 foot and 6 inches tall and I think Two of me can fit here comfortably. So now we're driving the Saluto. So yung comfort
comfort niya is very nice. Malambot yung leatherette seats. And then maganda siya dahil may armrest ka dito. So while you're driving, pwede mong i-rest yung arms mo. And then hindi ka maangawit. Unlike uh, like Vios and uh, Almera, yung mga ganun, wala silang wala silang armrest. And then pagdating naman sa steering, it's very light, very responsive din siya. So pag mag-steer left and right ka, mabilis naman siya. The acceleration is nice, it's very quick and it's also responsive. And it has 93 horsepower which is good for this size na vehicle dahil yung mga ibang sasakyan like Expander, Rush, they are 100 plus. And then 7 seater yun, ito 5 seaters. So it's good na rin, ba? And then its ride quality is also good although it's not the smoothest. Okay na rin naman siya. The only cons naman sasabi ko dito sa Soluto is the road noise. Because uh, even at low speeds, maririnig mo siya. And I hope, diba, syempre, gusto natin lahat na walang road noise when we drive or less of it. And then yung engine cell nga pala, hindi siya tunog grab. Sorry grab ah. Pero kasi diba, usually yung mga ibang sasakyan, meron talagang distinct sound na parang akalain mo nasa grab ka, ganun. Pero there's nothing wrong with Grab. We use Grab also. And this is not sponsored by the way. Ah. Baka lang yung sponsored. So for the fuel economy, we got 10 to 15 kilometers per liter on the city and 20 kilometers per liter on the highway. And para sa mga ganitong klaseng sasakyan na for city driving, it is important for the viewers and sa customers na malaman kung ano yung nakakonsume niya na gas. Because syempre, you're gonna use it every day, going to work, doing your errands. Kaya, mas magandang, you know, ano yung nakakonsumo, so makatipid ka. So, makatipid ka with the Soluto. So, for the visibility, I can say na it's very nice. Kasi, this pillar doesn't, uh, this one, hindi yan nabablock yung view. And then, the windows are big enough for me to look at the side mirrors and see what's beside me. And last nga pala, uh, yeah, dito sa windows, medyo hassle siya compared when you when it's placed here in the side. As what our writer Julian always says, small car, short review. Big car, long review. But this one, it's not short on features. And for just 735,000 Philippine pesos, you get good looks, comfortable interiors, and competitive features. That, that.